Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the most feared promo. We got the 50. We got an LTD. We got plenty of stuff to go over. As you guys see on the screen, a new currency has been added to Mutt. So, there we go. Treats, which is candy corn. Honestly, I'm really liking the card art and kind of the interface, kind of everything we're dealing with here because it looks it looks interesting. It looks new. It doesn't look too, it doesn't look too reused. And last year was a bit lackluster, although I like some aspects of the card art and stuff, but this is looking a bit better. Now, the currency, of course, we do have in-game. Dismiss that. We start with any amount of treats, some. Probably not. But I, we probably do get, we're going to get a starter pack in a second now. Let's go see if the solos are out first. Let's get into that. Look, guys, I'm super excited now. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you want a chance to be shouted out in today's other videos, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, like the video. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we have Gus Baby. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And moving on from that, guys, if you need coins, and you're probably going to need coins, there's going to be some banger players today for most feared. Head over to my reserve down below. Everything's discounted for most feared. Go take advantage. Use code Poodle for 15% off. They also do solo grinding as well as they will do training and cards directly on there as well. So go check that out. Link will be down below in the description. Thread it. Let's get into this. So, moving on down. Escape from Castle Jakenstein. These are one of the new solos that we will be getting now. You can play up to, let's see, is there, is there limits how much you can play? I guess, I guess all of these for now. This Castle Courtyard for now. Now, this will get you up to how many stars? There's 48 stars total. And to get all the way to what's the best reward here. So we have the 8387. So you can get up to a yellow, no, not even, a red and blue potion for now. Then this is going to come next. And then you won't be able to get your fruit player until probably quite a while here, as it seems. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get, you're probably only going to need to get to like the 320 range for all the potions you need. But these potions are what you use to create your free player. It's like six red, seven yellow, six blue, whatever it was. So make sure you're collecting those. And we got Boneyard Brawl. Now, for Boneyard Brawl, this is where you do get your 90 overall, I believe, Nat player as well. You get another 90 overall Nat player. So, you're going to be getting, like, two here. I believe you get one from here, and you get one from the potions as well, which you can build up for. Now, here you can only do how many stars as of now? 100 stars. So, 100 stars you can get up to, as of now, is the 83 to 87 overall Nat uh, Scary Sharp, which actually isn't that bad. Now, if you guys know what I'm talking about, this is a four-part promo. So, we're going to be getting the first part now. And then, remember, we'll probably get the next part, like, on Monday... Um, maybe a Sunday LTD, and then we'll get another one like Wednesday and the next Friday, and pretty much gonna wrap up all the way to Halloween for the most part. That's kind of how this stuff works. But moving on from that, guys, so that does wrap up the solo. So Escape from Castle, Jake and Stein. If you guys know Jay Stein's a developer, that's kind of like a, an Easter egg towards him there. And with the Boneyard Brawl, that's pretty cool as well. Now let's see uh, if the welcome pack is here. I'll go over the 50 players towards the end of the video as well. So stay tuned for that. We have a Good Morning Madden pack. Can we pull a little most feared action out of one of these? That'd be awesome. Or the new LTD, potentially. That'd be cool as well. And nothing expected. All right, so let's go check out these sets. Yeah, so here are the sets. <clears throat> Most feared. We got Scary Sharp and the Crafty Cauldron. So as you guys know, Scary Sharp's going to be the first part of this promo. And then Crafty Cauldron's going to be like that throughout the entire promo just there to do. Now, we're going to start the Crafty Cauldron, uh, Cauldron for you guys. These are the potions I was talking about. So get a red potion, put it in. You can get 80 overall. Most feared player. Same thing here, 81, 82 for the yellow, and then green. So it appears that green are the most, no, orange is actually, purple? Purple is the most valuable one, orange is second, then green, then yellow, so on and so forth. So 10 purples get you an 87, which is, hold up. All right, backtrack. You got to mix these to make purple. That's why they're valuable. Okay, so it's looking like you're dealing with red, blue, and yellow, and potentially, okay, red, blue, and yellow. And then you have to go ahead and mix them to make the other colors. Now, Mysterious Mixture. This is one where if you put six reds, seven blues, and I believe eight yellows, something like that, you do get a free 90 overall most fear players. So you will be getting two free players from this promo, not including potentially some other stuff that we could see in the next parts of the promos. Moving on. Oh, by the way, it does expire at 11, uh, 11 7, which is November 7, so stay tuned for that. All right, so these are the Scary Sharp. We got Russell Wilson as the master, Troy Polamalu as the master, and then these are the Scary Sharp heroes. We got, oh, well, it's not going to show you them, but... You can exchange 287 to 285s to earn a 90 overall, which goes into these sets. Now, these sets do give you, you get two Nat players back from this. So, remember, you go into here, you pick up Thielen, you pick up the other one, you get both of them back. So, that's pretty interesting. And then here you have to do 87, 85. So, the sets should be decently cheap as long as these cards are down. I'll probably make a set video for you guys later going over the math and all the stuff on that one as well. Now, moving on from that, 
uh, let's go check out some of these stuff. Uh, as far as the LTD, there's an LTD for today. I went over the solos, went over the sets. Uh, as far as the store goes, guys, I'm actually gonna open up my dollar fifty pack for you guys real quick. See if we can pull some heat out of that. Let's open it up. That didn't work. That's awesome. Oh, one more time. One for the road. Good luck. Okay, never mind. We're opening packs. Uh, moving on. Let's go check out the LTD, of course. Oh, let's go check out missions for you guys. So that's important for a lot of people. Uh, this is where it kind of just tells you what you need to get done. So just check this out if you guys are a little confused after this video on what you want to do. Read through these. Very great spot to get an understanding. We have the house rules. I'll go through that real quick. Uh, the new house rules is actually pretty cool. I'm probably going to play that. That house rules does look super fun. And you do get some potions from it as well, which is pretty cool. So uh, turnover, takeover, you do get a total of 75, not potions, sorry, treats. 75 treats. You get a free 85 overall most feared scary sharp player. You can get up to 45 trophies and, of course, 7.5k coins. Honestly, the rewards aren't great, but the free player can help you in completing one of these sets, which is pretty uh, great as well. So make sure you're playing that. Go through. I read the rules yesterday. You can go through, pause that, and read them. I don't want to you know, waste too much time on that. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know how those work. They're special events. Now, let's move on over to the auction block. I'll show you guys the LTD. The LTD is looking pretty awesome. And, of course, the 50 players. I got to reveal those shortly after this. Guys, the 50 players are phenomenal today. At least one of them is. I'm super excited to go over it in just a second. So, let's scroll on down. I'm going to go to actually newest. That probably be better. Newest. Khalil Mack is the LTD for today, guys. Super excited for that. Khalil Mack is going to be a beast. <clears throat> 84 speed. 86 excel, 86 strength, 91 tackle, 92 play rec, 90 block shot, 92 power move, and 86 finesse move. Now, is Ricky James better? Ricky James? Ricky Williams? Ricky James. Oh, I'm blanking. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, He's going to be he's gonna be better. But Khalil Mack, going to be so fun. You can power him up, chem him up. Powered up and chem, the guy's going to have 85 speed, 87 excel, 87 strength, 92 tackle, 93 play rec, 91 block. She's going to get up to like a 97 power move. So you're going to have a block shot threshold, be a top pass rusher in the game, and be super athletic as well. Guys, if you can get your hands on Mac, that'll be a fun card to play with. And that card art's looking super awesome. Let me turn this off real quick so you guys can see the card art. That card art's looking crazy. I'm loving the card art for this promo. Definitely one of their better, better card arts this year and in general in the last year or so. Because last year's card art was decent. Nothing too great there, quite honestly. Now, let's go check out the Masters as well. Now, these Masters are super interesting. I really like, like, the choice they put, like, picked for the Masters were interesting. Now, I wish they would have had some better stats on a few of them. But, uh, you know, regardless, still fun. Okay, so we got Troy Polamalu, who actually is going for 1.3 million coins. Troy Polamalu, I don't think, is an upgrade over many safeties right now. I mean, he's, he's decent, 90 speed, 92 excel, 89 tackle, 92 play, rec, 91 pursuit, 78 man, 90 zone, 90 hit power. He's decent, right? Now, I do think that Jamal Adams or a few other safeties are very the same, and they have better man as well. So, I don't think he's a, uh, like a huge upgrade. I personally probably won't be scooping Troy. But if you guys do need coins for him, you guys know the deal. Go pick up some coins if you guys need all this stuff. But, I mean, like I said... I don't know if he's the move in terms of, you know, upgrading a safety. Now, for me, if I don't have a safety or something, like, you can pick him up as your safety if he gets to a good enough price. But in terms of, like, using him as an upgrade over Jamal or one of those guys, it might be, like, you know, or Taylor Mays. At that point, is it really worth it? Now, why are there no dangerous Wilsons on the block? Uh, I mean, you guys saw his stats already. By the way, the, the screenshot last night was fake. Uh, no, not fake. They, they, they let the wrong... They leave, they showed us the wrong one. It had 90 speed, and that's the one I had, which kind of sucked because I kind of showed you guys a 90 speed uh, Dangerous Wilson, and that kind of sucks too because I was so excited to have that Russell Wilson. I thought I was about to play with the greatest quarterback ever. Troy Palomar was coming down in value fast. But we're waiting for that. I'm going to show you guys the 50 cards. Von Curse, which is super awesome. Great left, great, great left end, super athletic. 87 speed, 91 excel, 86 strength, 88 tackle, 89 play rec, 85 block shed, 84 power move, and 91 finesse move. Now, as you guys know, Javon Curse is one of the best finesse move guys in the game. As well as, that speed is unreal. Now, the thing is, his block shit's low, and that usually would turn me off on a card, but he's so fast. 88 speed powered up, guys, like in a QB spy or coming off the edge or in stretches. Like, he's he's a difference maker. He's kind of like um, he's kind of like the end for the Panthers that I'm blanking on right now. Julius Peppers, when you get him, like, his block shit may not be great, but you always get him because that speed. That speed's different. When you chase down a quarterback, they have, like, half a second to react or else they're getting sacked or they're under pressure already. Javon Curry is going to be deadly, and of course, you want to power him up. It's going to be expensive, but he does come out later in today, so make sure you're checking that out uh, shortly after Most Feared. Next, we got Orlando Pace. Orlando Pace, 92 overall, 92 strength, 90 awareness, 92 pass block, 91 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse, 89 run block, 88 run block power, and 87 run block finesse. Now, this card's decent. Uh, pass blocking is great. Run blocking is a little bit on the lower side. If you power him up and chem him up, though, you will get all the thresholds with zone runs, so that's still really, really good. Going to be a 93 overall left tackle. Now, I like him and all. 
but he's gonna be expensive. I mean, if it comes down to the 230k range, he's worth it. But if you're sitting at five or 400, you're definitely not worth it. And the next one, which I'm super excited about, we got Ladanian Tomlinson, guys. Ladanian Tomlinson is so awesome, guys. I've been waiting for this card for at least two Maddens now. Last year, all year, I was looking forward to him. This is this is a new, this is a new running back for me. I've been telling you guys, he's gonna someone's gonna take Barry's man, so I think this is it. He can catch better than Barry. He's gonna be faster than Barry. And he's better break tackle or similar break tackle than Barry. He's gonna be pretty much Barry Sanders 2.0, except it's the Damian Tomlinson. It's a new car to play with. He's gonna have great catching, great stiff arm, great juke, and great everything. And he's gonna be he's gonna be very similar to Barry, like I said. But he's gonna be fun. Barry's price will go down. You don't have to sell Barry if you don't want, because remember he may get a harvest master as well. So then he goes right back up in value. But the Damian Tomlinson is so much fun. I'm definitely picking him up. That's a scoop for me, and I recommend you guys pick him up as well. I'm going to wait. Hopefully, his price can fall into like the 400k range, and I'm definitely picking that up. I'd love to power him up, but you guys know how power-ups go with these 50 cards. But that's what it for that, guys. Let's get back to the other screen and show you guys the Russell Wilson and whatever else is on there. Russell Wilson's up. Real quick, I want to show you guys him before we head on out of this video. So, 83 speed, 89 throw power, 91 short, 89 medium, 92 deep, 93 under pressure, 93 on the run. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to compare him to Michael Vick real quick. Is he worth it? Is he worth it? So, he's slower by 8 speed, right? 8 speed. Less throw power than Vic. Now, he has better short by 4, better medium by 6, uh, better deep by 3, better throwing the pressure by 4. Playing the runs both above 90 and play actions both going to be 90 powered up. Now, here's the thing. He's going to be an all-around threshold passer. So, if, if you want to have a threshold guy, like, I mean, honestly, Wilson's not bad. Like, I'm thinking about it right now. Because Michael Vick will miss throws. You can get Russell Wilson, and he could be an all-around threshold passer, like, just like Brett Favre. He can make any throw on the field, do anything you need him to do. You can get his throw power up to like a 94. And he's going to be an 84 speed that can still run and make, you know, make plays. Russell Wilson's not so good this year. I think Russell Wilson's one of the best quarterbacks in Madden. I mean, it all depends on his abilities and everything, but he's looking really, really solid. But I think that just about wraps up today's video. I think that pretty much covers everything. We covered the LTDs. Remember, this is just part one. There will be four parts. I do expect more. Um, like I said, probably won't be seeing it till Monday. They're usually going to cut the weekend off. Enjoy this first part of most freedom work from there. Definitely be playing your house rules. Hop on that. Be brightening out your potions. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to join the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below the Poodle Squad. If you guys need to pick up points, head over to Mutt Reserve, take advantage, use code Poodle for 50% off. Now, peace.